Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm very happy that God has brought us together to meditate His Word. May God speak to us even in this morning as we meditate His Word. Today is the Sabbath day. I believe we are getting ready to go to your church and especially today is the Pentecostal Sunday celebrated all over the world among the Pentecostals. So, I believe uh, you will be going to your church with an expectation that you will receive uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It is not that only today God will be baptizing, but today you can take a special effort to receive uh, the baptism of Holy Spirit. And today's meditation is from the book of Romans chapter 7 verse 3. So then, if she has sexual relations with another man while her husband is still alive, she is called an adulteress. But... If her husband dies, she is released from that law and is not an adulteress if she marries another man. When Apostle Paul was, yesterday we meditated, when Apostle Paul was speaking about uh, be, being under the law, when we have committed our life uh, under the law until we are living, until we are alive, he is comparing that with the marriage, with the relationship of marriage. So, as he was speaking about the relations of marriage, he is talking about the divorce. He says that when a man, it, it, is, it is not just divorce, he is talking about divorce and the widow. We will focus on divorce today and then widow tomorrow. He says that if, if, if somebody marries a man, a man and a woman are married and they are under the under under the agreement under the under the relationship until they are alive no man in this world can break it bible gives only one exception in this divorce bible says that if a man or a woman remember it is not just for the woman but it is for both the genders if a man or a woman if they are caught in the adultery in other words the relationship outside the marriage then if the man or a woman is not ready to repent and come out of it this divorce is biblical until unless if if they are not caught with this no other reason beyond this is biblical you can never take any other reason and say that oh we can uh, approve this divorce no there are, you cannot say that oh there was a misunderstanding so i don't want to live with her with him with him or with her oh she was not obedient so i we are going for divorce and uh, she was not respecting my parents so we are going for divorce she was ill so we are going for divorce no no other reason except adultery was accepted in bible bible just gives an exception about adultery so my dear brothers and sisters this divorce is very much increasing among christians remember we are making a making a covenant in the sight of god in the presence of god among the holy people at the temple of god with the servants of god remember so when we have made this agreement bible says that it is honorable above all so we must be very careful that what we are doing, whether it is biblical or we are going against the Lord. Bible just gives an exemption that only this can be done. Anything else other than this is against the Bible. So be careful. Only the adultery can be counted when it comes about divorce. Amen.